I'm a hands-on type of artist, but for the last couple of years, my public sculptures have required a large amount of planning and technical documentation. So I've had to design a lot of my sculptures with computer software. With all the computer work, I've often been frustrated and wish I could just reach inside the computer to create the sculptures how I'm used to. So about a year ago, I made a drawing as a way to express my relationship with the computer. Then I decided to create a sculpture edition out of it called Lost in Space. The figure in the sculpture is doing exactly what I wish I could do. So in that sense, Lost in Space is a self-portrait that can speak to anyone that feels the same way. First, I created an office setting out of steel as a basis for the figure to exist. The challenge here was to make the steel weld at such a small scale and keep every single addition looking consistent to the next. I then made the master figure out of clay and baked it at a high temperature to solidify the materials for molding because I damn sure wasn't going to make a new figure for every single addition. Molding and casting is a new process for me, but thankfully we found all the information we needed on the computer. Here we are pouring the rubber mold and mixing the plastic cast formula to begin pouring. We were pretty surprised at how accurate the cast turned out because the master was relatively complex, we were told. Painting the sculptures was the most relaxing part of the process, but as everyone knows, the devil's in the details. After the painting process, I began to fix each plastic figure to the steel settings. As much as the sculptures looked identical, there are still quarks in each piece which makes every single addition unique. The last step was applying the green felt on the bottom so it won't scratch up your table when you buy it. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the next one.